all right so i made it back it is day 93 of our daily memory verse challenge and today is april 3rd 2020 and i'm making up for april 2nd okay all right so this memory verse is taken from psalm chapter 1 verse 1 it says blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of scoffers all right so whether we walk or we stand or sit it matters to god so walking in the in the counsel of the wicked okay when we live our lives or we take actions or make decisions based on which counsel where are we getting our ideas from is it the ideas of the world the ungodly or are we going by what the word of god says are we going by the lessons we've learned from jesus christ our character our behavior the advices that we adhere to where are we picking them from is it man-made you call yourself a traditionalist or you call yourself a feminist whatever it is that you choose to call yourself where are you getting those ideas from does it tally with what the Bible teaches? So these are questions we should ask ourselves. God expects us to walk according to the counsel of righteousness. Godly counsel, that's what we should adhere to. Okay? People give you advice from, from north, from south, from wherever. Don't just take any advice you you get just because oh it sounds good it makes sense no always cross check it with the scriptures with the teachings of our lord jesus christ with the teachings we are we, you read from the bible okay and make sure it is stemmed up from love if it's a selfish advice something that is going, only going to benefit you to the disadvantage of others you better drop it okay now standing in the way of sinners still boils down to how we live our lives there is no difference between your life and the life of a sinner no difference the, the way you talk the way you reason the way you act no difference even 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 if sinners self are better than you Whatever we do and it's not done out of love, that's bad. Okay? So we should do, our lifestyle should be different from the lifestyle of those who are who do not know God. And also sitting in the seat of scoffers. So when I looked up the meaning of scoffers, that people who have a very unpleasant attitude, who are out who are out to talk down others you make jest of others you know treat other people like they don't matter remember we ought to treat people out there just the way we want them to treat us if you love to be respected respect others if you want people to be gentle with you be gentle to them if you want people to be generous to you to give to you learn to give to others learn to put others in your shoe and treat them just the way you would like to be treated if you were in their shoes all right so i'll end this here and i hope to be back today for our day 94 continue to read god's word meditate on it every day of your life okay so um i challenge you make sure you memorize a verse from the bible today meditate on it but most importantly make sure you are practicing it just like what we have just um what i've just talked about put it into practice don't take 
any advice that does not tally with the word of God. Make sure your life is unique and your life, your lifestyle is pleasing to God. All right, and don't don't treat others like rubbish. Treat people with respect. Treat people with love. Show love to others, and God will continue to bless you every day of your life. All right, my people. Have a lovely and wonderful day. Good night. Bye.